Welcome to Kid Wings Explorers. Have you ever come face to face with an owl, a bear, a mountain lion, or a cougar? My name is Chris Anderson, and for the last 20 years, I've been studying and writing about barn owls and wolves, and trying to bring quality education to the public, reaching millions of people both online and in classrooms around the world. Kid Wings Explores endeavors to bring nature into your classroom, whether it's in your living room, whether it's in your school, or whether it's in the wild. Join us today on an adventure in nature. Today's journey begins at the Fort Rock Homestead Village and Museum in Oregon's Outback. Ghost towns like Fort Rock are a great example of how we humans build structures all over the world with the intention of living in them, but sometimes they have unintentional opportunities for other animals. Today, we're going to talk about not only the animals that live here, but we're going to talk about animals that live in their natural habitats before they had the opportunity to choose man-made structures. Just a few hundred yards from the town of Fort Rock is the State Park. I've been coming here a number of years to not only study the uh, natural environment for barn owls, but to learn about all the wildlife that's in this area. It's a beautiful natural environment that is a great place for families to come and you can either hike around the rock or you can just sit and enjoy the features of it. It's surrounded by perfect hunting grounds. There's sagebrush and other, other plants that provide good cover for mammals and birds, but there's also fields that have been cultivated by farmers that are great areas where the birds will find voles and raptors such as harris hawks and eagles. Uh, there's also uh, horned owls in this environment. So it's a great, great place for raptors of all kind, but today we're going to focus on the barn owl and what makes this particular place an exciting place to learn about the owl. Barn owls are fascinating birds. They can be found in almost every environment around the world, but one attribute they always share is a fantastic view of their ideal hunting grounds. These are known as vantage positions. In our last episode, we talked about what made a great home for a barn owl. This episode, we're going to talk to you about what makes a great owl city. Remember the characteristics that make a great home for a barn owl. They include safety, they include ability to escape predators, and they include darkness because they like to sleep during the daytime. They're nighttime hunters. Which brings us to our most important characteristic, vantage points. We've climbed a little bit higher, and this is a great vantage point for a human, but I think to get a good vantage point for a barn owl, we want to go just a little bit higher. Now I know there are barn owls here, but along the way I'm looking for signs, and I find these signs in bones that are just scattered about the trail that fall down from the heights of the owl's perch or, or its nest. So what I found here is part of a mandible from a skull of probably a vole. So this is just affirming that we're in the right place to see owls. This place is incredible and very special. And not only is it just because you're out in nature, but when you step in here, you can simply see a whole uh, city of, of creatures, not just barn owls, but what you see is from the top to bottom, you see the entire food chain demonstrated here. And it's a fascinating insight into how this is, is all supposed to be in a good ecology. 
Another important thing to remember when you're looking for barn owls is the whitewash. And the whitewash is not always an indication that it's a barn owl or even an owl. It may be another bird of prey. But here we have an entire wall that you can see examples of the whitewash, which is telling us that some bird is sitting there uh, and it's digesting its food. A characteristic that makes this a great vantage point for owls is any place where there might be their principal prey. 80% of an owl's diet is voles. If you look off in the distance with our human eye, we can actually see some pronghorn, which are a type of antelope. And with our eyes, we can see that movement moving across that field from a great distance because we're probably 400 yards away from those animals. Now a barn owl, they have much better vision than humans do. What makes this a healthy ecology for barn owls is an abundance of opportunity or a literal buffet of voles and other small birds and prey for their diet. Thanks for watching this episode of Kid Wings Explores as we've discovered vantage points. Don't forget to watch our last episode, Home Sweet Home, and join us online at kidwings.com or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash kidwingsexplores. Mm -hmm.